Robin Sharma's book The 5 AM Club is available now. In this video, we've distilled six key ideas that can help you create a game-changing morning routine that yields spectacular results. Principle 1. A disappointed artist and a disheartened businessman were drawn to the 5 AM Club's mysteries by a fortuitous encounter. We'll follow the fictional story of a curious group of folks in these blinks. A disillusioned artist attempting to rekindle his creativity and leave a legacy, a despondent entrepreneur in need of revivification, and a billionaire with a track record of success who wants to share the secrets to living an incredible life. The three came together at a personal optimization conference where the Spellbinder, a renowned business expert known for his magic tricks and ability to enthrall audiences with his wisdom, was the keynote speaker. After the Spellbinder's speech, the billionaire approached the businessman and the artist, but they were unaware of his wealth. The billionaire adopted the persona of a beggar as a habit to remind himself that wealth isn't everything. The sole indication of his true wealth was his pricey watch. While many people desire remarkable things would happen to them, genuinely elite performers realize that they can make extraordinary things happen for themselves. The impoverished looking billionaire told the two that he had made a fortune owing to the spellbinder, who had taught him this. The businessman and the artist grew increasingly interested in this enigmatic individual who spoke like he was a guru himself. They listened as the billionaire described how the spellbinder had taught him one lesson that was more crucial than anything else. The spellbinder was, in reality, the billionaire's personal mentor. It was what? Believe creating a world-class morning routine is the most effective method to achieve the best achievements in both your personal and professional life. The billionaire, being a kind man, made a fantastic proposal. He would show the businessman and artist the tricks of a top-notch morning routine if they came hang out with him at his beach villa in Mauritius. All they had to do was get together the following morning at 5 o'clock. The following morning, the businessman and the artist had some skepticism, but it started to fade when a chauffeur-driven Rolls-Royce picked them up and brought them to a hangar with a sleek, ivory-colored private plane bearing the following logo, 5AC. The chauffeur said that the insignia stood for the 5AM club when the businessman inquired about its meaning. And so began their quest to comprehend a groundbreaking morning routine and an entirely fresh perspective on life that had the power to improve everything. Principle 2. Your increased mental clarity and seclusion around 5 a.m. will enable you to perform at a high level. The billionaire explained to the businessman and artist the following morning in the early hours of the morning how he had discovered how to rise above average status and attain greatness by rising at 5 a.m. He had increased his inventiveness, his vitality, and his productivity by getting up at 5 a.m. How? The billionaire explained to them that many true greats throughout history, such as author John Grisham and composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, understood the multiplicative effects of isolation brought on by rising at 5 a.m. We all have a finite amount of cognitive bandwidth. Our focus is divided among an increasing number of activities during the day, including work, the news, social interaction, and social media. By midday, we are unable to focus on anything at all since all of these take up our bandwidth. We don't give anything enough attention because we keep switching our attention from one subject to another. But if you rise at 5 in the morning, you have the chance of a lifetime to concentrate on one worthwhile task without being sidetracked. The idea of transient hypofrontality, which, in a nutshell, says that around 5 a.m., you are well placed to attain a state of flow in your thoughts, further strengthens this concentration. The brain's prefrontal cortex, which controls rational thought, temporarily shuts down when you are having a tranquil 5 a.m. start, the billionaire explained, which is why. Your propensity to consider, stress over, and worry about things is so compromised. The tranquility of dawn also encourages the synthesis of the neurotransmitters serotonin and dopamine. The outcome? You inevitably reach a state of flow, where you're focused, enthusiastic, and in the zone. All outstanding performers, from violinists to scientists, experience flow when they are at their best. You'll discover that if you wake up around 5 a.m., you'll be more attentive and effective the rest of the day. Another good reason to join the 5 a.m. club is that you must do what 95% of business owners, artists, and other individuals are unwilling to do in order to get the outcomes of the top 5% of outstanding achievers. If you are willing to rise at 5 in the morning, you have a big competitive advantage over most individuals. Let's now examine how to truly make history, become someone whose accomplishments alter the course of human history, rather than just accomplish amazing things. Principle 3. History makers use their strengths to their advantage, stay focused, work hard every day, and become masters of themselves. The businessman, the artist, and the billionaire gathered by the water on a beautiful Mauritius morning. Squirrel fish swam in a school through the transparent water. In this picturesque setting, 
the billionaire discussed the four main points of the great historians. First of all, he asserted, the greatest individuals are measured by their level of exploitation rather than their inherent potential. The millionaire believes that patience and self-control always triumph over genius and natural ability. Use your talents to change the world rather than believing you lack the necessary skills. The secret is distraction-free living, the millionaire continued. Today, too many people squander hours on social media and alluring but pointless technologies. Focus, simplification, and concentration are necessary if you want to succeed. That entails becoming a purist and focusing on a select few truly outstanding job endeavors as opposed to numerous worthwhile ones. And in daily life, it entails eliminating everything that keeps you from maintaining a laser-like focus on what matters most. So stop checking your alerts and cancel any meetings that are preventing you from doing something of genuine value. Join the 5 a.m. club to enjoy a distraction-free hour each morning to concentrate on what matters. Thirdly, those who are truly excellent are aware of the value of day stacking. That implies that little things carried out consistently are far more significant than huge ones carried out occasionally. Think about improving one trait or ability by simply 1% per day. Despite the little shift, it represents a 365% improvement over the course of a year. The billionaire also discussed personal mastery practice, which is the last historical focus. The first indications of elite level expertise, according to psychologist Anders Ericsson, take at least 2.75 hours of daily practice for 10 years. Therefore, if you want to master yourself, devote the first hour of every morning to working intently on you, your thinking, as well as how you approach health, spirituality, and love. The millionaire stated it was time to move things forward and that they needed to learn how to grow their best selves since the entrepreneur and artist now knew much more clearly how the truly elite kept ahead. Principle 4. You may master yourself in your chosen field by paying attention to each of the four inner empires. How frequently, the billionaire questioned, have you heard an expert discuss changing your mindset? We frequently hear that by thinking positively, our lives will be better. What these gurus fail to tell you, the billionaire claimed as he and his students took a stroll down a white sand beach, is that there are actually four internal empires in addition to your mindset. You are neglecting your health, your heart, and your soul if you are simply focusing on your thinking. That would be like only polishing 25% of a painting. Your emotional life and overall health revolve upon your heart. It's crucial because having a chaotic emotional life prevents you from performing intellectually, even if you have a world-class mindset. Unexpressed emotions will never die, wrote Sigmund Freud. They are still alive and will resurface later in more hideous ways. You'll soon notice the difference if you concentrate on maintaining a healthy heart. Next, pay attention to how your physical health is doing. Living a long life is one of the best strategies to succeed in life. The millionaire playfully observed that if you're dead, you can't be a titan of industry. Choosing to live a healthy, ultra-productive lifestyle will give you a few longer years to leave a better legacy. Elite athletes also understand that exercise makes every day much better. Your energy is sparked, your tension is reduced, and your delight is expanded. There is still another interior empire to build, so even that is insufficient. The millionaire claimed that your spirituality is a part of your soul. All too frequently, daily life draws us toward the flimsy and the material. So spend some time in the solitude of the morning reflecting on who you really are. Connect with the inner hero. Think about what you can contribute to the world in the solitude of the dawn. You'll re-establish contact with your highest self if you put your attention on your soul. These discoveries astounded the businessmen. She exclaimed to the millionaire that this framework had significantly altered her self-perception. But she was still curious. How could she use the first hour of the day to put these teachings into practice? She was prepared to learn about the 20-20-20 formula, the billionaire said, but not in Mauritius. No, they would have to abandon the crystal clear ocean. They were traveling to Rome, sometimes known as the Eternal City. It was time to be inspired by the Romans' passion, their beautiful city, and their delectable cuisine. Principle 5. The 20-20-20 method guarantees that rising at 5 a.m. produces amazing outcomes. The billionaire, the businessman, and the artist stood in the piazza at the foot of the famed Spanish steps in Rome, taking in their surroundings. It's time to understand how to alter your creativity, performance, utility, wealth, and productivity, the billionaire added. Simply getting up at 5 a.m. won't cut it. You could get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and waste an hour scrolling through social media and answering emails, but it won't make the most of your day. The 20-20-20 rule, which states that you should spend 20 minutes moving, 20 minutes reflecting, and 20 minutes growing, will be effective. 
the first step is to get moving and work out for 20 minutes. Making yourself physically uncomfortable is what matters most. This is due to the fact that sweat eliminates cortisol, the fear hormone. Brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF, is a protein produced by sweat that speeds up the growth of new neural connections and heals damaged brain cells. So, if you exercise for 20 minutes, you'll practically think more quickly. Then, set aside 5.20 to 5.40 a.m. as a time of great stillness and seclusion for thought. Consider what is most essential to you before the complexity of the day begins to take shape. You'll be shocked at what ideas, inspiration, and visions pop into your head when you have a few minutes to yourself in this age of non-stop distraction from notifications, messages, and other messages. Journal these ideas in your diary. Write down your aspirations for the present, your blessings, your frustrations, and your disappointments. By doing this, you'll be able to release harmful energies and better grasp your vision. Spend some time in meditation. According to research, meditation lowers cortisol levels, which lowers stress. It's a tried and true method for remaining composed, and the world's best performers are always composed. The final 20 minutes of your first hour are now due. Take 20 minutes to learn because you need to develop here. Read the biographies of successful people to learn about their life. Learn about psychology and people. Watch innovation-related documentaries or listen to business-building audiobooks. Every millionaire shares a passion for learning, which unites them all. There you have it, then. To own the hour and truly join the 5 a.m. club, you need to have the ideal morning routine. Principle 6. To fully realize the potential of the 5 a.m. club, one must embrace sleep and the twin cycle of top performance. The wealthy, businessmen, and artists descended into the depths of Rome as it slowly came to life. The billionaire stated that they were in the catacombs, underground corridors used by the Romans as cemeteries, as they walked down a dark and dusty tunnel. The millionaire said that it was a good time to talk about the value of deep sleep because they were surrounded by people who were still asleep from millennia ago when the artist questioned why they were there. Sleep is one of the most important variables in determining life expectancy, according to research. Peak performance is nearly entirely dependent on how you spend the final hour of your day. Technology is to blame for the sleep deprivation that affects far too many individuals nowadays. According to research, the blue light emitted by mobile smartphones lowers melatonin levels, which are necessary for sleep. You won't be able to get a good night's sleep if you use technology just before bed, so put it away before 8 p.m. Go to bed no later than 10 p.m. after spending the remainder of the evening conversing with loved ones, meditating, taking a soothing bath, or reading. In this manner, you may really make the most of your 5 a.m. time. There are other significant ways to recharge besides sleeping. In reality, alternating between intense, intensely concentrated work hours and times for deep refueling through rest, rehabilitation, and fun is essential to maintaining peak performance over time. The billionaire refers to it as the twin cycle of top performance. Growth can occur during both the performance phase and the recovery period. Talk to a farmer if you want to understand why, the millionaire said. He will inform you that there is always a period of intense tilling, crop planting, and laborious labor. The fallow season then follows, though. The fallow season may appear to be a time of relaxation. Nothing appears to be happening. However, the true indicator of how well crops will grow is the fallow period, when the earth is resting and resupplying its nutrients. Some of us prefer not to embrace the twin rest cycles phase. The businesswoman acknowledged this and said that she feels guilty if she isn't working. Balance is crucial, the millionaire retorted. So, don't simply work. Recognize the importance of rest, relaxation, and fun in achieving high performance and embrace it. Final thoughts. These Blink's main message is. Heroes are created during the morning hours. Owning the mornings is a good place to start if you want to master your life. You can develop your creativity, improve your fitness, and maintain your serenity in the era of complexity if you are not interrupted at 5 a.m. Practical suggestions. To deceive yourself into waking up at 5 a.m., set your alarm clock for a half hour earlier than usual. Purchase an alarm clock first. Technology should never be used in the bedroom since it is distracting. Set a lovely old clock to half an hour fast once you have one. Set your alarm for 5.30 in the morning. In this manner, you can deceive yourself into believing that you are rising later the following morning. Jump out of bed as soon as the alarm goes off to avoid giving in to the weaker side of your personality, which will try to convince you to stay in bed. If you are interested in this film and would like to purchase a copy, we sincerely appreciate your time. Using the link in the description box, you can purchase one from Amazon.com. 
Please remember to subscribe, like, and forward this video to your loved ones.